All right, so my reaction to the Derek Lewis knockout of Curtis Blade. Man, the first thing that went through my mind is, damn, he really did him dirty. That's crazy because Curtis Blade actually called the way, like, how to beat him. He knew his whole strategy going into it, and he still got knocked out. That's insane. Listen to this interview clip pre-fight. It's crazy. To you, is this fight as simple as just avoiding one big punch? I mean, if you really, really, really want to break it down, uh, yeah, that's we know what Derek's game plan is. We've seen it a thousand times. We've seen it, did it to Volkov, did it to Olenek. Like he he hangs around, hangs around, hangs around, and he's just looking for that one sweet knockout punch. That's why the best best strategy is to keep him on his butt, and then he never gets that opportunity. So is Derek Lewis to Deontay Wilder of MMA? It's kind of crazy how similar they are. Their strategies basically the same. Their power and not so much. I still think Deontay Wilder has way more power than him. But kind of how they, they their strategy goes is is pretty similar. They're both looking for that one punch and will wait there the whole match. So you can never count this guy out. It is insane. He's probably the only guy like this in the UFC. I know you might think Francis Nogato might be closer to Deontay Wilder, but he, he he's a whole beast of his own. I I, I don't know. He's, he's different. But Derek Lewis, yeah, definitely. He's probably the Deontay Wilder of the MMA. And yeah, man, you gotta still feel for Curtis Blades because he was playing that perfectly. That first round, he looked really sharp. His striking was right there. And his game plan was, yo, I'm gonna take him down the second round and make him exhausted and I'm just gonna win by either a ground and pound or a decision. But Derek Lewis was, was legit standing there waiting for that. And even he said it, that's the best punch he threw all night, or maybe even the only punch really that connected. So I, I, as I was watching the first round play out, I mean, were you surprised his game? And like you said, you knew the takedown was going to come at some point, right? But were you surprised he did stand with you as much as he did? Um, Like at the end of the first round, I'm like, he's messing up. He's messing up. That's what I was saying in my head. I said, his coach is saying, he's trying to pump his head up. Good. Yeah, you're doing good. And I'm like, all right, keep playing that game. That's what I was saying to myself. I said, okay. The second round came, and I kind of figured that he was trying to, he was going to come out and do the stand up a little bit. Then he was going to try to shoot. So I just knew I had to just be patient. Yeah. Did you know, you know, kind of planning that the uppercut was going to be the shot? We have. That's my coach, um, Joe Murphy, and um, Robert Crew, a uh, Hendo, Henzo. Hondo, <laughs> and that's what we've been drilling um, all month, really 12 weeks, really, trying to get prepared for this guy. Which is crazy because some of these athletes, Khabib, Derek Lewis, you know what they're going to do, but they still get, they still do it, and you still can't stop it. Everyone knows Khabib's going to take you down. He Hell, he even tells you he's going to take you down, but he still does it to everybody. About uh, Dustin Poirier, Dustin is a tough guy. You know, he have more than 20 fights in UFC. He have good experience. And uh, honestly, like last fight, I expect Max gonna beat him. This one is a little bit surprise for me. He have good boxing, good footwork, but uh, last six fight, uh, he fight with only striking guys. He never fight with guy who all the time wrestling with him, like, my style. I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a tough night for him. This is my opinion because you have to be ready. I'm gonna wrestle with him all night, make him tired and make him tough. This is my plan. But anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button.